हेलो ऑल आई एम सौरभ परमार आई एम ए मास्टर स्टूडेंट इन कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट एट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ फ्लोरिडा टुडे आई वुड बी प्रेजेंटिंग ऑन द टॉपिक ईमेल स्पैम फिल्टर यूजिंग पैटर्न रिकॉग्निशन टेक्निक दिस इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ टूल्स एंड पैकेजेस दैट आई हैव यूज्ड डेवलपमेंट इज डन यूजिंग पाइथन 2.7 इन Ubuntu एंड पैकेजेस नंबी स्किपी एंड पांडास आर यूज्ड पैकेज इंस्टॉलेशन इंस्ट्रक्शन इज प्रोवाइडेड यू कैन यूज दिस टू सेट अप द एनवायरमेंट Let us understand why do we need spam filter but first let's have a brief overview of what is spam Spam email is a form of commercial advertising which is economically viable because email is very cost effective medium for the sender So spam is simply speaking any unsolicited commercial email sent in bulk Spam can be harmless like an unwanted product advertisement or can be a medium for phishing attack via scams etc In phishing spam, spammer fraud user to enter their personal information on fake website using forged email to look that look like they are from bank or other financial organization. Let us now discuss cost of spam. Spam impact user and corporates equally. There is infrastructure cost associated with spam. 50% of total email traffic is spam, therefore it increases unnecessary load on the server and other communication channel. the productivity of end user decreases as they have to filter ham email from email boxes which can have many spam email it has been estimated that carbon footprint of spam email is equivalent to 3 million ka the spam email impact environment yearly other than this there are security threat associated with spam email which i already discussed earlier challenges that spam poses considering those challenges it is highly imperative that an efficient spam filter is required this is the global spam rate map as you can see the countries like india and the regions like africa the spam rate is very high the spam rate is indicated by the shade of red the darker the shade of red higher the spam rate now let us discuss about the implementation in this project content based and supervised spam filtering approaches used content based imply that the decision if email is spam or ham is based on content of the email for example email having words like lottery offer is more likely to be a spam email supervised learning is an approach in which a model is prepared from training data set having a known label the model prepared is later used for predictions following four algorithms have been implemented in this project nepais Kenya is neighbor support vector machine and random forest as discussed earlier this is a pictorial representation of the supervised learning model here the feature extracted from the input and a, a machine algorithm is fed with those feature and label in during the training phase which generates a classified model during the prediction phase the features are extracted from the test input and these are fed to the classified model which generates the label Now the target is that the label should be as correct as possible. The input used in training and testing phase for this project is taken from the UCI spam based dataset. In this dataset there are total 4601 data point that have been correctly labeled as spam or ham. Almost 45% of them are spam. It contains pre-processed email and a total of 458 continuous attributes. last attribute of each email is is a label that indicates whether it is a spam email or not when indicate it, it is a spam email zero means it is a ham email performance of implemented algorithms is evaluated on the basis of following four metrics accuracy execution time false positive and false negative accuracy accuracy means that percentage of correct correct prediction from the classified model divided by total number of test data set Into hundred. Execution time is the running time of the algorithm. False false positive means percentage of spam email that have been wrongly classified as ham by the classifier. False negative means percentage of ham email that have been wrongly classified as spam by the classifier. Negative is very important criteria to evaluate spam filter because even if one correct ham email is marked as spam, the user can use lose an important email. the approach from an effective spam filter perspective high accuracy low execution time low false positive and very less false negative is desired let us now discuss the implementation 
Naive bytes is the first algorithm that I have implemented. It belongs to a family of probabilistic classifiers that are based on Bayes' theorem as shown in the equation. The naive assumption assumed here is that pair of features are independent and don't, and don't affect each other. The Spanbase dataset is continuous and in this project it is assumed that it follows Gaussian distribution. The effort to calculate probability distribution of feature given a class. Gaussian distribution function is used. In training phase, a classifier is created using Gaussian distribution assumption. Variance and means of attributes given a class is calculated. In testing phase, probability that feature is present in class C is calculated. Since independence among features is assumed, overall probability is a simple multiplication. The class then is the result which result in maximum probability and that is assigned to the test data. This is the result that I found. The execution time is 1.5 second. Accuracy is 81%. As you can see that the accuracy is really low while the execution time is good enough. Discuss support vector machines. These again are supervised learning algorithm. In supervised learning algorithm, as we have already discussed, they make a classifier model based on training data set. In SVM, we try to find a hyperplane that separate data set into two mutually exclusive regions. Consider two dimensional case as shown in this figure. A hyperplane is simply a line. For 3D, it would be a plane and so on. There are infinite choices of for hyperplane when data is linearly separable. In SVM, we choose optimal hyperplane that maximizes the margin. Margin is twice the largest minimum distance from a hyperplane to training data points. Continuing the optimal hyperplane discussion further, the general equation of hyperplane is given as fx is equal to beta plus omega psi, which result in, in a margin which is equal to 2 upon beta. Therefore, to maximize the margin, we have to minimize beta. Provided the constraint y is omega t psi plus beta greater than or equal to 1 holds. We can use Lagrange multiplier to solve and obtain weight and bias for optimal hyperplane. Now the case can arise that data set are not linearly separable. In this case, SVM introduces concept of soft margin. Soft margin implies that the hyperplane must separate most, if not all, data point. Slag variable and penalty parameter are introduced, and the equation based on slag variable and penalty par parameter is shown in next presentation. Here, C is penalty and epsilon is slack variable. If the data points are not linearly separable, SVM uses kernel trick to transform input data to a higher dimension where it can be linearly separable. And thereon, we can use the same concept as discussed earlier. This is this shown in the figure. Here, the input data points are not linearly separable, though, so they are, they are transformed using kernel trick into a higher dimension. In that, it can, it can be clear, clearly seen that those are linearly separable. Now let us discuss about the implementation. This implementation has been, done, has been done using SK Learn Library. Three kernels have been implemented, RBF, Linear Polynomial. Training phase, SVM classifier is trained using SK Learn Fit method. Here, XTrain and Ytrain are the training data. The training data is 70% and testing data is 30%. Sierra predict generate a model. And we can use, again, the Sierra predict method with the test data point to get the predictions. Next is the result. As you can see here, the accuracy is very high for all three kernel. The execution time is low except for the RBF which takes 11.12 seconds. False positive and false negative is also very low. So as compared to naive bias, this would be the algorithm of choice. Next I have implemented random forest. It is an ensemble algorithm that is it is made up of from a group of many weak learners. For random forest, weak learner is decision tree. For creating random forest, training data is divided into a random smaller subset and each creates a decision tree. This picture represents working of a decision tree. At each node, decision is made based on feature at that node. Like if money appear more than three times, email is spam, otherwise it is a ham email. Random tree also uses same decision model. Input data is fed to all the decision tree and final classification based on the majority of the vote. Implementation. Again, I have used SKLearn 
library for the implementation of random forest. It provides as a random forest classifier method, which can be used to create a random forest. It takes parameter like an estimator's minimum sample split max step. An estimator here is the number of decision tree that would be in the forest. Max step is the depth. So it will result in a model if based on the training data set. Now we can use the predict method using a test feature and it will give us a predictions. That is a predicted label for the test features. As you can see, the result vary depend upon the number of decision tree. Accuracy is a parameter function of decision tree. So the maximum is observed when number of decision tree is 16. Parameter can be passed by the command line argument and this I have shown in the next presentation, next video. That is the code demonstration part. Accuracy is lowest when number of tree equal to 1. As in this case, the random forest is simply a decision tree. This is the result that I found. Accuracy is 92%, execution time is 1.4%, false positive is 6%, false negative is 1.5%. The accuracy and execution time is comparable to SVM and the false negative is less than the SVM. Next algorithm is K nearest neighbor. It is a lazy algorithm and instance based algorithm. Instance based means it uses test and train data instances to make decision and lazy means that it differs classifier model building till prediction time. In KNN closest K neighbor of a test data point are found. The label of data point is then decided on basis of majority. Example, consider this picture. Here, XQ is negative. As out of the closest five neighbors, three are negative. Let us now discuss about the implementation. To calculate distance, I have used Euclidean distance. Here, X and Y are test and training data set. This is the equation for the Euclidean distance calculation. I have again divided data set into two parts, training data set and testing data set. Training data set is 70%, testing data set is 30%. Here, since it's a lazy algorithm, there is no explicit exclusive training phase. I can build the model during the testing phase using the Euclidean distance and I'll get the predictions. So the algorithm works in this way. I'll calculate the Euclidean distance or the data point from all the training data point. I'll sort them in non-increasing order. I'll select the k nearest neighbor from that sorted list. Those k starting k element will give us the k nearest neighbor. Now, I have to decide the class. Class of the test point would be same as the class of the majority of the k neighbors. That has been ret returned in the above step. This is the result that I have found. Accuracy and other metrics vary with k. Here is the graph of accuracy versus k. There is no certain trend. However, accuracy is average 82% and highest is attained at k is equal to 12, 82.6%. On average, these are the test results. Accuracy is 82%, execution time is 250 seconds, which is very high as compared to any other algorithm. False positive is 10%, false negative is 8%. This algorithm has ring time that is 200 times of the rest and performs poorly on other parameters also. Next, I have compared and concluded. Test result for all the algorithms tabulated below. From this, we can conclude that random forest is the best classifier for spam based dataset because it results in best accuracy, best running time, and lowest false positive and false negative. However, accuracy of random forest and SVM is comparable. However, due to smaller running time and less false negative, random forest would be your algorithm of choice. In terms of accuracy, NAPIs and KNN perform poorly. For given dataset, KNN is the worst algorithm because it takes execution time that is 200 times of the other algorithm. So based on the given dataset, the overall ranking would be random forest, SVM, then NAPIs and then K nearest neighbor. The overall ranking here is just for the spam based dataset. Result may vary on different data. Next is the list of references that have assisted me in the implementation. I would particularly recommend SQLR documentation. In the next video, I will demonstrate my code and output for all the implemented algorithms. Thank you.